Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and Kyle Busch did NASCAR solid on Sunday night at the All-Star Race. Welcome back to Break Hard. My name is Matt. Yeah, NASCAR needs to do Stenhouse and Kyle Busch a solid because they took all the attention off of what should have been a critical response to a pretty dull All-Star Race, which saw Joey Logano lead 199 of the 200 laps and the soft hire not do exactly what everybody was expecting it to do. Instead, everybody will be talking about this Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Kyle Busch fight, which stemmed from Kyle Busch thinking that Stenhouse put him on the wall, although he didn't do that. He then goes up and wrecks Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Uh, on lap two of the race. So Ricky's win back at the 2023 Daytona 500, got him in the All-Star Race last year, got him in the All-Star Race this year, and it was all for not basically, because Kyle Busch threw a bit of a hissy fit. So then... Stenhouse has to hang around because there's no crossover tunnels at North Wilkesboro. So he hangs around for the entire race, continues to get more heated, like he's Kevin Harvick at Bristol in 2001. And then he decides to wait for Kyle Busch. And that's where we'll pick this up at because, yeah, things got a little out of hand. So we got Kyle walking up here. Ricky's standing out back behind the eight hauler like he's a character from the Outsiders. They're going to get together here, have a bit of a conversation. Kyle's like, dude, love the shorts. Ricky's like, I'm not here to talk about the shorts, Kyle. And Kyle's like, I like them a lot, for being honest. Ricky's like, no, I didn't touch you. Kyle's like, I think you did touch me. Yeah, that's how you put me in the wall. Ricky said, I was out on that racetrack with you, just to remind you that this happens. Then the fist balls up, and then all hell breaks loose right here. They both get thrown off into the shadow realm. Ricky Stenhouse Sr. is going to come in over the top here with the iron claw, grab Kyle like he's about to be in WrestleMania, then remembers that he's an older man. But if you're going to fight Junior, you got to fight Senior. Kyle Busch is back here, absolutely fighting for his life like he's Spencer Gallagher in a fight. Not a great look for him. JTG guys, once again, trying to make sure this remains WrestleMania. The ropes really help out to the visual get out of there bob bob was in the middle of all of this ricky's going get my dad get my dad which is again unintentionally funny for sure this rfk crew member back here just completely baffled by the entire situation like he was in pineapple express just couldn't believe his eyes what was happening in front of him then you have this RCR crew member defending the back of the eight hauler like he's at the U.S. Embassy in Vietnam. He even trained his whole life at Planet Fitness for this moment. Without a doubt, he's blaring, don't try this in a small town on his way home. Feeling real good about himself tonight. And then you have Kyle Busch dropping an unintentionally funny line right here. Just really tells you how his season is going. Let's go! Kyle delivering an unintentionally funny line right there by saying, yeah, you suck. I suck just as bad as you. Yeah, the 8 car has not been very good this year. But to say that you're as bad as the 47 car is, that's pretty bad. Kyle's been in contention to win some races. Obviously not up to what Kyle Busch wants. I'm starting to think that maybe that honeymoon period at RCR over like the first 16 races of 2023 has already worn all the way off. And Kyle would be more than willing to just give Austin hill that seat if he can find himself a better ride for 2025 because it doesn't seem like things are going too well there i will say that rcr team though that crew seems bonded they might not get the best pit stops every now and then but they are bonded together in defending kyle bush's honor and randall burnett is like walking around like this this year stinks can we just not do this right now uh, I don't love seeing crew members get as involved in a fight as they were here. Whoever that safety or, you know, um, security guard was that tackled Ricky Stenhouse, put him into a suplex right there like he was WWE in the 80s. Yeah, that can't that can't be happening. Ricky then was trying to make sure that his dad wasn't getting involved too much in things. And he was very involved in that. But, you know, that's just Mississippi life, I think. Maybe. Either way. Don't let us see crew members get as involved as they were. The one crew member, though, he was making sure nobody was getting up onto the back of the hauler. He was like a, a dog making sure none of the puppies come anywhere near him. He was aggressive. And I get it. Testosterone runs high in the heat of the moment like that. Uh, and the RFK crew member just standing there like, uh, guys, what? Very much the Troy Barnes community gift where he walks into the apartment on fire with the pizza. He walked out of the hall and was like, what did I just walk into right here? Funny moment, though. Great fight. Great, great coverage by everybody. Bob getting in the center of it. Uh, again, some unintentionally funny moments from it. But don't let this distract you from the fact that the All-Star Race was not good for a second year in a row. Not good. Last year, the nostalgia of returning to North Wilkesboro distracted everybody. This year, everybody's going to be talking about this fight and not about how bad the race was. Better than last year, sure. Multiple groups, yes. Passing difficult, for sure. 
maybe in a good way, maybe in a bad way, but certainly not, I think, the tire wear and fall off that we expected. Granted, this is a brand new, fresh surface, so there is that. But yeah, full breakdown coming soon uh, over what happened during the race. And the next episode of the Break Hard Show will be out on Monday as well. But for now, we have Ricky Sanos Jr. and Kyle Busch. Getting into it, let me know in the comments what you think about that fight.